to our virtual workshop today. And today we're hoping to have a packed house with so many attendees. They can't wait to talk about franchise development. And we have a star-studded facilitator um, on hand and hopefully a lot of very lively and informative conversation that will inspire you to bring back to your team. And without further notice, as we keep packing them in, I'm going to hand over to Ryan Hicks. Awesome. Well, thank you, Sherry. And thank you, everybody, for being here. We're going to get straight into it. I've got some top of house announcements, starting with if you if everyone on the call could go ahead and click the participants drop down, click edit there, and there's a little more button, uh, find your name and change and add franchisor, franchisee or supplier next to your name. That will help us be able to get everyone connected uh, for the breakout room. So click the participants drop down, uh, add franchisor, franchisee uh, or supplier next to the name. We have a little bit of a Price is right going on what our final attendee number is because we we did get a lot of registrants uh, for, for this session. I think that our topics are prescient, uh, top of mind for a lot of people. And so looking forward to uh, some really robust conversation, um, maybe even a little bit of debate. Um, that is encouraged. Uh, everyone here is encouraged to experience, share um, as you, you know, bring what you're learning to the table. And it's just a really great format for us to then be able to debrief from the facilitators and learn about all the different conversations happening. Um, formal introduction, I'm Ryan Hicks, I'm managing partner at Franchise Supplier Network. And uh, the way that the workshop will flow is we're gonna have a, a discussion around our first topic. Our first topic is gonna be uh, digital transformation in franchise development. And what we'll do is have about a 20 minute discussion around that in your breakout rooms. You'll have a facilitator. Your facilitator will introduce themselves when you get in that breakout room. Then we're going to come back to the main session and do a little quick round robin. And here are some of the top nuggets from each of the, 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 the breakouts on that topic. Then the second topic is going to be franchisee support and training. Obviously this is uh, marketing leaders on the call. Also a number of CEOs. I see uh, a lot of friendly faces, um, but uh, we'll have a conversation around franchisee support and training as well. And then we'll do the second round of feedback. And our goal is to have you out of here at the top of the hour. And um, I'll go ahead and just quickly introduce the uh, one one comment. And we would usually reserve it at the end, but I want to make it top of house. Emerging Franchise Conference is coming up uh, November 18th through 20th in Austin. I believe I have those dates right. We could drop uh, some of that information in the chat. Uh, Austin, Texas is a phenomenal place. And I uh, would like to invite everybody out to that event. Um, and so having that said, uh, the first topic, digital transformation in, in franchise development. Um, in the, in the, the session, we're, we're, we're in the facilitated conversation and the breakouts, we're, we're going to explore how some of these kind of AI and automation tools are reshaping the way some brands are thinking about approaching development. Um, and how some of these digital tools are are helping brands be more effective, uh, more efficient, and you know impact our brands, impact performance in development. So do not hesitate. And and there's a lot of branches of where that could go, but do not hesitate to experience share. Um, you know what what you uh, what you've learned, and I'm very excited for the feedback after this first discussion because I think there's going to be a lot of really good nuggets. So have some notes, uh, notepad ready. Thank you so much for being here. And we're going to go ahead and get it out into the breakouts. All right. We will give it uh, 15 seconds here and let everyone else get back in to the room. We made it first. I just want that to be noted, Ryan. We are good yeah. uh, soldiers. <laughs> On time. Did you guys have good conversations? We did. 20 minutes is not very long. We got through one question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not. But by popular request, we uh running a tighter ship in an hour meeting rather than an hour and a half. So, OK, appreciate that. Well, hopefully we'll get some good nuggets that we can take away from some of the other groups as well. Yes, yes, yes. Looks like they're uh, having some really good conversations <laughs> in a minute here.
Welcome back, everybody. As you are joining, we're going to give it a little more time. It looks like we have everybody back. So hope we had some really good conversations and eager to hear uh, some of the feedback from the groups. Um, let's go ahead and start. Angelique, do you want to kick us off and uh, share some of the top learnings from 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 your breakout? Yeah, um, we had a really good uh, session talking about what tools and software has been implemented to help on um, the franchise development to help support the sales teams. Um, so we spoke a lot about the different CRMs that they're using. Um, ben from Rand Family of Brands talked about using Fransoft. We also use Fransoft here. Um, they're using the LMS functionality of it and doing a good job of being able to track their candidate flow, um, lead engagement throughout the entire process, which has been really helpful for them um, to really see where their process peak is and where they can implement and make changes. Um, we talked to Dan Bish, who shared some really awesome news um, that Meta actually rewards lead follow-up and follow-through if you report back on those campaigns. He's um, a supplier slash franchisor um, that if you, they have some software out there that uses tools that actually reports back on um, lead follow-through and follow-up, which actually in turn will lower your cost per lead on the franchise, um, on the Fran Dev side, which is fantastic. I know we all want to lower cost per lead. Um, which is really cool. Uh, we learned from one of our suppliers, Claudia, that they're using HubSpot along with um, one of our other persons over here, Damon. They're using so many different Zapier connections into HubSpot, including one called Postal, where they're able to send customized gifts um, on demand um, that really are heartfelt and thought out and use custom hand, look like they're handwritten notes to their customers to really ensure that they're staying top of mind with their customers. Um, it really helps them um, just keep track of where their where customers are at with their uh, buying cycle, as well as chat GPT. Of course, I think all of us are using that to help ourselves become better writers uh, to ensure that we're more effectively communicating with our um, candidates to ensure that we're hitting them and touching them with the right messaging at the right time. So those were some of the things that we talked about, um, including a project management software called monday.com. So if you don't know about that one, look into it. It's got lots of cool features. Awesome. Thank you for the feedback. Robert Mitchell, uh, how did your uh, conversation go? Why, do you, why didn't you pick me first? Because I had to follow Angelique and all of her good note taking. That's that sucks. Okay. Anyway, um, we did great. We, we you should have been there. It was awesome. Um, no, I think the the big takeaway is that a, a lot of the people who are in my group, I don't think they're using it to the extent that um, maybe some of the others in Angelique's were. But I think that's because that's why they're here to see what's going on and how to use it. A couple of great use cases that came out of the group was. Um, an obvious one to some degree, but also a, a reiteration. Larissa shared that repurposing your content using ChatGPT, that, that sounds again basic, but let's look at it. You have an opportunity to triple and quadruple your efforts to in, in to doing FranDev and making sure your messaging is on point. So not only do you use it to repurpose it for the, the correct channel, because LinkedIn works differently than Instagram versus differently than Meta, right? So making sure that it's on brand, on voice every time. And so you can pre-train the output through using a GPT or an automation so that it knows all of your brand guidelines and it properly repurposes the content for the channel. So you're giving it the, the right parameters. And of course, making sure the human stays in the loop so that you can edit it and, and re-prompt it and you keep on doing it until it really fits within the box for your brand in the right voice. So that was a big kind of a long use case, but it was very helpful. Um, it's it's in FranDev, but it's also in marketing in general for the brand. Uh, another great one that came out of the group was um, Joseph sharing that the best way to really understand your prospects is possibly to have AI analyze the call notes. And so doing, doing that either through call notes or like we've done for some of our clients through analyzing call transcripts, if you're so, in, you, know, you have the, the beauty of that type of a, of a tool, like if you use CallRail or you'd use Zoom for all your recordings, you can take all those transcripts, could be thousands of them, and either understand, okay, well, Bob, he's pretty far in the process. We should be, you know, touching him again, you know, or whatever, um, or if you want to use the same tools to analyze your franchise sales team and say, are, are, I have a new person and they're not quite doing it. The, here are the, the SOPs they need to follow and you can rate their calls and, and help them in, as a coaching method. So those are some things that came out of our group. Awesome. Awesome. Kirk, any top nuggets from, from your session? Yeah. So a lot of what the others said, it was covering ours as well. Um, 
the hot topic was chatbots uh, right at the end. So that came up and there was a bit of, I guess, a little bit of a debate uh, within the group talking about yes and no on chatbots. And um, so um, some have an experiment with it. Some are about to try it. Um, but the one um, the gentleman that was, I guess, a little bit um, had tried it and has backed away was because it was outsourced and it just wasn't the right fit with their brand in terms of the, the voice dealing with um, the prospects. And then on the other hand, there's a new software where it's your voice. So the answers are your voice instead of a outsourced um, you know, person overseas or something. So that was really, really interesting. And the other piece, uh, Ryan, was most people tend to be using AI within the, the third-party tools that they use, whether it's Salesforce or Lumen or franchisee, so or franchise lee. Um, so they're using the AI tools within the CRMs that they currently uh, subscribe to. Awesome. Um, Mitch, any any top nuggets from your group? I got nothing to say. Everybody sort of said it all. No, some really cool stuff. I mean, overall, um, you know, that the technologies are developing so quickly. They're tools, right? They're, you've still got to have, especially for FranDev, you've got to have that personal interaction. You've got to, you know, there's a way you, your tone, your reacts, things that chat GPT or send the AI tools can't do. Um but certainly it seems like most people are using chat GPT as an example to fine tune their messaging um, to just help sort of maybe enhance some different areas that need more focus. And then they put it into their own words. Something I thought that was cool as well. I, actually two things at least mentioned um, uh, there's a, there's a group and at least maybe you could put it in the chat called stay in your lane and it's a learning program. Oh, okay. So I've never heard of it. Right. And so it's a learning program for those of you that are not familiar with it, that, sort of teaches well, you it's about not a learning program. It's a company that does company. AI classes. Sorry. 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 So yeah. classes, right. That teach you about how to utilize all these different uh, AI platforms. So I thought that was interesting. Um, and, and the other thing uh, to mention, which I never realized there's a, there's a uh, software called fathom um, yep. that, uh, yeah, that Andy uses for his calls. So what it does is it basically just analyzes the calls and then pulls out nuggets of things that you could then, like in some cases, he's, uh, you know, put together webinars um, and, and uh, you know, things that are more specific to topics that were brought up in the conversation. Um, and, and the other, you know, the last thing I'll leave with a lot of people are not hiding the fact, or it seems like people are not hiding the fact that they're utilizing AI as a tool sort of indicating, hey, sort of, you know, we've got our finger on the pulse. We're utilizing all these new technologies, not only from our perspective, but as a as a tool, as a franchise, or to show, hey, you know, we're, we're sort of ahead of the curve. We're on trend with every kind of technology to help our business as a whole, including your particular franchise locations benefit. Awesome. Thank you for that feedback. I think we're going to have to adjust uh, the last session to 15 minutes. Um, Brandy, any top nuggets from your group? Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, so we had a great group. Uh, a couple of the top nuggets, I would say, is a lot of people are saying this is the next industrial revolution, right? It's changing everything, how we're marketing. And I would recommend, if you haven't watched it already, watch the um, recent Oprah Winfrey show on ABC. It was a uh, hour-long special on AI and the future of us. That really gives you an idea of like where this can go. So just highly recommend that. But as far as nuggets... You know, a lot of the group uses the different tools to really capture uh, a meeting like this, capture the notes, and then just simply send out the summary, the takeaways to all of the attendees. So I think that's just a simple way to be efficient and more efficient as a team. Um, the other thing that was really interesting that was shared is um, actually Dave Rice shared this with us. You can actually um, go to Google Training. It's Essentials for AI through Coursia. And um, actually, you know, just get a, a nice summary and videos of how to use AI in different areas of your business. So I think that's a really good tool to consider. Uh, also, Amanda, thank you, Amanda. She she said what she uses um, Chat GTP for is to really 
um, upload FDDs and analyze them and ask it questions to summarize um, competitors' FDDs and see what the differences are. So I think that's a really unique way to utilize chat GTP. Um, and then there was one other piece, just the basics in regards to like rewriting content for social, simplifying it. I know I sometimes have the, uh, <laughs> that I often overcomplicate things. So it's really great to go in and just say, simplify this post and then simplify your value propositions, content that you might already, might already have on your website and then repost it in you know, LinkedIn and social media. And then the last piece, which I think everyone should be using is performance max on Google. So if you have the right conversion points in place in your Google AdWord campaign, you can say, okay, these are the two actions I want customers to take. And AI will then take it from there and put more money towards the keywords and the actions and the content networks that are providing conversions, phone calls, form submits. Some really good nuggets. Um, also, a lot of notes in the chat. Uh, Marcy, any top nuggets from your group? Um, I don't want to repeat everything that's already been said. It's been fantastic. So I'll just share one. Um, Kimberly from National Property Inspectors just shared. They do so many really fantastic things on the operations side. She shared a couple of apps that she can put in the chat if she wouldn't mind. But um, the, the key nugget there was in, for development, they just share that and they get a lot of referrals from what they're doing with AI on the operation side. So consider all the tools that you might not be specifically using in Brand Dev, that all the fantastic AI things that you're doing from the operation side will benefit you in Brand Dev that you can say how you're forward thinking um, with technology and that will help you on the dev side. Perfect. Thank you all for sharing. We're going to go ahead and hustle back into the second breakout the topic for the second breakout is franchisee support. Obviously, how we support our franchisees is the DNA of our franchise organizations and, and you know their success is our success. So let's have a conversation around franchisee support and training, and we'll see you guys back here in 15 minutes. We are gonna keep, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, Sherry, pop off if you need to. We'll make the final uh, announcement. Emerging Thank you so much. Emerging Sorry, guys. Franchise Conference, November 18th through 20th. Anything else, Sherry? That's it. Thank you so much. What a lively conversation. We could go on for another 30 minutes, but yeah. thank you. Well, we got to do this more than once a year. Thank you so much for, for this topic. These two topics, really hot. Yep. Thank you. Thanks to all the facilitators. Thank you, Ryan, and thank IFA. Yep. Thank what you. I missed, we just got back from our breakout. Did I miss something? So um, we're going to go into a speed round so we can get everybody out of here. So for the facilitators, top nuggets from the group, we'll do inverse order. Marcy, I see you grinning. Let's have you go first. Top top nuggets from Oh my God, you, you, you threw me off there, Ryan. Oh my God, our, our group was amazing. Um, I'm going to call out David Rice had three amazing nuggets. He does three great programs, but one that I loved, they have a next generation program, which is for managers and next level um, people on their team to train them up in the business. I just love that. Love that program. Amazing. Um, Brandy, what say you? This is really hard. We had great conversations. And actually, I wanted to pass things to Angela Cote. I don't know if that's breaking the rules. Go ahead. Um, yeah. Uh, Talk about sure. easy assist and some of your. Oh, no, that was mine. You can't steal it. Okay. Angela has other things. I mean, we got a ton of nuggets. This as well. Go ahead, Angela. Well, okay. As far part, we'll let Robert talk what he's used to. Um, <laughs> one of the things that we talked about was peer uh, performance groups and uh, the value of bringing franchisees together, um, learning from each other, but the importance of having a good facilitator so that they don't just go off track and spend a whole bunch of time venting about the franchisor, which is what would usually happen if you don't <laughs> have a good facilitator. Um, and then the value of having um, some structure and curriculum in those groups um, and that the, uh, the groups really provide uh, accountability or uh, foster the accountability that franchisees need to take action. And then I guess one last thing is that the franchisees inner performance group need to be the franchisees that want to grow. Like don't try to put a franchisee in a performance group that doesn't really want to grow because they'll screw everything up and um, bring down the group. And high performing franchisees need to be in their own separate groups with uh, spe specific uh, curriculum based on what they need. Angela, if you drop in the, the, the chat if you have any recommendations if people want to learn more about performance groups. Um, let's go to Mitch. What say you? Yeah, the biggest takeaway um, is uh, two takeaways, really. One, you know, a, a lot of people still use just the standard monthly regular webinars, communications, 
Um, uh, and, and probably the biggest, you know, one of the biggest things is to not have it. And I know it's challenging because you could have some franchises that it just turns into a bitch session, but that, you know, whereas on a webinar, you're just talking and talking and talking as opposed to, um, someone else brought up on the call in our room, more like coaching, like coaching them what to do and, and sharing the wins first with the group. Like, what have you done? What are they what are the wins? And then, you know, so that goes into, okay, what are the challenges sort of going forward? I'm a big fan of that, of, of sharing the wins. That's where franchisees learn from Robert. What about you? Yeah. Easy assist. I mean, we, me and Angela are big fans of this con of this company and what they do. They're great for ops. Basically they have a tool that trains your, um, it has, it creates a model so that all of your ops, has uh, every franchise owner can access the content from um, your company, all the operations manuals, training manuals, any uh, comms that are going back and forth. And even then, marketing it, assets as well. Yeah, marketing. everything by text too. The yeah. franchise, you just simply texts and wherever the information is, it goes and gets it and brings it to right. the franchise. So you don't need to clean the data. It can be wherever your organization houses it. Yeah. But I'll push back on Angela. It isn't just text. So well, if you... If you work in Slack with your uh, your franchise owners, then that's where it lives. If you work in uh, emails or wh however you're con currently communicating with franchise owners, it will live in that platform. And then the best part is the back end. It has a back end system that allows for ticketing. So if the question is not getting answered, then Bob can jump in and answer the question and it learns on the answer Bob gave. So it's really a great system and it really makes it more efficient for your ops team. So take the takeaway here is, your operations team, instead of answering all of those repetitive questions they're constantly asking, that if they just read the operations manual, they'd have the answer. Now that 50% of their time is now gone. And then they, they can go to working with the franchise owners on PLs or something more impactful. Yeah, pretty incredible uh, use case. Um, Kirk, what say you? Two quick ones. Uh, Heidi from uh, Gym Guys, gamification for training. Make sure you make it gamified to get engagement. Number two, uh, Mark and one of their core principles is shine the spotlight. And they do it in multiple, multiple ways, shine the spotlight on really good uh, things that franchisees have done, uh, whether that's turning around a business or getting wider adoption for a new program. But uh, shine the spotlight is a big core principle. Amazing feedback from all the facilitators. The last one, Angelique. Gosh, you guys had all of ours out there too. So we talked about um, having regional support managers um, to work with people that are in different regions to ensure that your marketing messages are communicated effectively to the correct region. And then um, also we looked at making sure that your company is tracking the same five KPIs um, so that you're leveraging benchmarks and everybody knows kind of where they stand um, and that they're all looking at the same KPIs in, in terms of early education and expectations. So those were a few things that we talked about along with all the great things that everybody else shared. Awesome. Well, thank you guys for the speed round. That was a lot of great top nuggets and we appreciate everyone being here. Um, we'll send out communication for the next workshop. And until then, we'll see you soon. Be sure to check out Emerging Franchise Conference in November. Cheers, everybody.